Some people call him Jackson, and he loves Kelly. So please welcome Jackson to the stage. <laughs> Crap, he has smoked a pipe and has a tobacco cabinet. Damn it! All right. <laughs> so I was sitting on my front porch on a really beautiful late summer day reading Benjamin Hoff's The Tao of Pooh. If you aren't familiar with it, it's a book that explores the principles of Taoism through, wait for it, Winnie the Pooh. Hoff takes a pretty poignant look at Western life and how we're constantly caught up in meaningless distractions. The book really inspired me to take a look at my life and to begin to minimize the meaningless distractions in my life. Well, in the spirit of taking action, I began thinking of things that were detractions, and you knew where this was going because of the name. Facebook was the first thing that came to mind. I knew I kept logging on and looking at it even though I didn't want to. Because the habit was so deeply ingrained, I, it took serious effort to get off the platform. Now, before I go any further, this talk could be about the horrors of our data privacy, or about what social media is doing to us in general. But this is about my Facebook experience, and I hope that what I share will be compelling enough for some of you to join me. Now, I'm not that crazy. I didn't delete Facebook outright from the start. I took baby steps. Not if this sounds familiar to you. First, I hid the app deep in my utilities folder on my phone. Then I deleted it off my phone entirely. Then on my laptop, I downloaded a newsfeed eradicator that would prevent me from mindlessly scrolling through the posts and updates. You see, up until this point, I had rationalized that deleting Facebook was simply not an option. I managed too many pages. I would miss out on events. My girlfriend would be really mad at me. And after some self-reflection, I realized these excuses were total bullshit. There were plenty of other people to manage those pages. My friends would text me if the event was that important. And my girlfriend was a little mad at me, but now I call her my fiance, so I won in the end. <laughs> So there I was, about to confirm the deletion of my Facebook profile. I remember that moment so vividly because of the overwhelmingly visceral experience I had. I was leaning over my kitchen counter, my heart was pounding. It's that feeling you have when you're inching towards the door of an airplane about to skydive for the first time. But what's ironic about all of this buildup is how long it actually takes to delete your Facebook profile. According to Facebook, it takes three months. Remember, deactivation and deletion are not the same. Deactivation is where you click a button, you log back in, and it's like you never left. Deletion is where Facebook actually strips your posts out of the databases. Not that they make either of those things particularly easy. I actually had to Google search how to delete Facebook because I couldn't crack the maze myself. Pro tip, settings, security, those of you watching at home on Facebook, do it later. <laughs> and now I'm off for good. The benefits were immediately noticeable. Hours seemed to materialize out of nowhere. I felt calmer. Less anxious. This is around the time I started reading a book every week, exercising more regularly, exploring meditation, and actually calling my family members. I was beginning to do the things that were important to me, but I had felt that I never had the time for. The average American spends 35 minutes on Facebook every day. That's 213 hours a year. Imagine what you could do with all of that time. Imagine feeling a little calmer, a little more peaceful. Now at this point, I'm sure some of you in the audience are like, fuck this guy, 30 minutes a day on Facebook really isn't that big of a deal. It's fun, it's harmless, get over it. Well, I'm gonna show you why that's problematic and watch your mouth. So here's the story. Because science, in numerous studies, numerous studies, Facebook has been shown to make us less happy. In numerous studies, participants on Facebook feel more anxious, more isolated, and more depressed. Every waking moment, you see carefully curated photos of all of your friends and somehow, ironically, feel more distant and less intrinsically valuable. We've evolved for hundreds of thousands of years as a species, and Facebook has been in existence for 14 of those. Our brains didn't develop to support this kind of slot machine stimulus. If you're someone who's been considering deleting Facebook, I'd say take the leap. When you don't fill every spare 10 minutes of your day idly scrolling through your newsfeed, you'd be shocked at how much time you have for your personal growth. Making more time for that writing, working on those family recipes, picking up the banjo, learning Spanish. Imagine what you could do with all of that freedom. Imagine a more peaceful, happier life. 
Imagine sitting on a front porch on a beautiful late summer day, talking to your partner without having the urge to check Facebook for something that might be more meaningful. But why just imagine it? You should join me and delete Facebook. You'll thank me later. Thank you. <laughs>